Thank you, McFly subscribers, for watching and participating in the February Fly Contest. The winner of this contest will win this fly box, one I am selling on eBay, but I'm happy to give away to the winner. So keep looking on the bottom left-hand corner of each of these pictures in order to get the number of the fly and the person's name to be able to vote. Just go ahead and place your vote in the description section of this video, and I will go ahead and tally them. I am only giving one day for the votes, so good luck to everyone who participated, and let's go ahead and get started. So fly number one was tied by Mark, and his YouTube handle is marbum1, and he's in California. And he said, this fly I call bleeding minnow. Easy to tie and not very much materials. It fishes high in the riffles and deep in the pocket. It's also really good for a bright sunny day in fast water. Fly number two is tied by Brian, and his Instagram is Rosie Fisherman, and he's in Virginia. This fly I've tied is a claw dad. It's great for smallmouth bass and catches many other species as well. Fly number three is tied by Gage from SG Swingers, and he's in Idaho. He said, I'm 12 years old, and me and my friends share a YouTube channel, and we also love fly tying. We're at a fly tying class, and we made this fly called Dill's Pickle. It's for bass, and it represents a sensor. Fly number four is tied by Sonder, Meso Nerfy, and he's in Colorado. He says, it's my semi-realistic stone fly pattern. Fly number five is tied by Jarrett from PNW Fishing, and he's in Washington. And he said this is a black and blue slump buster, and it's mainly used for bigger trout and steelhead. Fly number six is tied by Larry, and he's in Florida, and he calls it the bass hopper. Fly number seven is tied by Tal, and he's from Hallison Angling, and he's in Minnesota. And he said, I'm just experimenting with different materials and techniques. I think these will work great. Fly number eight is tied by Michael from Florida, and he says, I call it the spastic shrimp-tastic. Combed yarn, red marabou, rubber legs, crystal web, resin eye, homemade orange cactus chenille, orange and tan Congo hair body, dumbbell eyes, tied on Gamagatsu E10S. Fly number nine is tied by Zach, and he's in New York, and he says it's a streamer for a smallmouth. Fly number 10 is tied by Dylan, and he's in New Mexico, and he says it's a pheasant tail nymph. He also says it's a guaranteed fish catcher. Fly number 11 is tied by Brent, and he's in West Virginia, and he said it's a small articulated bait fish pattern. Fly number 12 is tied by Joshua, and his YouTube handle is joshpylon08, and he's in New York, and he said it's just a bait fish pattern I've tied. Fly number 13 is tied by Matthew, and he's in New Jersey, and he said it's an intruder sculpin tied with composite loops. Fly number 14 is tied by Oliver, and his YouTube handle is Fast Flow Fishing, and he's in Quebec, and he said it's a couple pike flies I've tied. Fly number 15 is tied by Daniel, and his YouTube handle is DanTheMan7624, and he's in New Mexico, and he said it's a red tail soft tackle. Fly number 16 is tied by Stu from Stu Outdoors, and he's in Florida, and he said it's a Stu Fly, EP baitfish tied with a VMC XL number 6319BN in size 2i. Well, good job everyone. I really like all these flies. You all did a great job. Well, good luck to all of you, and I wish you all the best of luck. So the rules are, obviously, you can vote for yourself, but only one vote per person. You can send this to all your friends, as long as they are subscribers. You must be a subscriber to vote. So if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
and I am going to be doing these every single month. So for this month here, go ahead and send your pictures. I will be happy to receive them, and I will go ahead and put them up on next month's video. Please make sure not to send any really large files, as I've only got a certain amount of space to hold everyone's. And I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys go catch some fish.